Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome to A A Gaming. My name is Bill, I'm the angry autistic asshole, and today I am jumping back into my playthrough of Starfield, so let's get into it. Let's see if it's gonna play ball. And uh, looks good. Ready, so we are rescuing survivors of a spacer attack, which seems a bit more organized than spacers, but whatever. Oh yeah. Excuse you. Let's see where the light's coming from. I don't want to lob an indiscriminate grenade. No, no, oh, fucking seriously. Okay. Fine. You, what the fuck are you doing? Tactical leaning in the wrong direction. Nope. Yep. Okay, you're the next rat. You followed up. You in there, I think we need to deal with. They're through the glass, they can't... They can't do anything to you at the moment. Where are you guys? You are... In here. Hello! Good night. Next. Well, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Where the hell is this other person that we detected? Can you just hanging out back there, or what's, what's the deal here? Oh, there you are. Hello. Physics goes all funky again, just because. I'm going to take that. That's not, a co that's not what I wanted. That is a coffee mug. Put that nice and neatly on there. And then we can uh, very carefully and slowly loot this area. At my own pace. Demos Park. Uh, it's not really that valuable compared to its weight, but sure. What do we got? My folders, coffee mug. And the reason I picked up a coffee mug is because I thought it was the um, the wire, the hyper WhatsApp wiring. You know, the white wiring. I don't know what uh, the name of it is. I don't really care. I'm not even sure I've used it before. Um, Right, this place looks um, inviting. Really inviting. I mean, it is a literally an animal testing lab, so it's uh, not going to be the uh, the the prettiest biohazard. Do I even want to be in? I'm not sure I do. Um, yoink. Flashy leatherware. Ah, very flashy, apparently. Instant oatmeal just had shotgun shell. Red it was yoink. <laughs> Synthetic turkey, excellent. Let's see if we can find anything fun in here. We've got to remember that we didn't go into the uh, biohazard zone. Of uh, yonder. Wank. But that's okay. Do you want any space here? Metabolic agent? Sure, why not? That was the 
coffee mugs that I set up, picked them up even though it's everywhere and not anywhere near as useful as I think it is. Chocolate labs. Eating them dogs, them hot dogs. Random blammer, stir on nano tubes, nice. There we go. So even though I've butchered the control scheme for Halo, um, I'm still a little bit wonky in uh, transferring over to to this, and I'm also a little bit more stupid. Especially after all of the explosions ever that were going off in um, Halo today. Spaghetti! Uh, which pretty much turned me into spaghetti. Um, there, there, was some, uh, there was some bad ones today. There were some really good ones today. Um, some very funny ones. But uh, yeah, so if I'm controlling like an idiot, even more so than usual, that's my excuse. Um, we need everything other than that. Yoink, 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 yoink. Don't need it, but I'm yoinking it. Explore out there. Don't care. Right. I am a bit encumbered, but that's okay. We can deal with that in a memento. Now, I'm not 100% sure this section is clear. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. And we're all on hiding back here. Okay, cool. Right. Can, can you not? Space tape. Chunks cola, packaged. It's just a cola flavoured chunk. Is it a drink? No, it's just a chunk that tastes like cola. Weapon case! Fine side stuff. Okay. Now, what was that? Spicy worms. There. Hey! Hey, Captain. Carry some shit. Need something out of my pack? Nope. But I need to give you something out of mine. I can't give you something out of mine. Shit. Oh dear. Yeah, I think I may have uh, gone with you. That's not good. Oh. Hooray. Okay, we might need to pare this down a little bit. What crap have you got on you that I can take? Oh. Mm. Hmm. See you later. So yeah, right, I think in that case I might have to commit the cardinal sin and dump some stuff. Where was that act that I took even though I didn't like the clip? That one and that one. So I do not have good value to wait. Eat some of the uh, food we've been picking up as well. That would be a good thing to do. Pfft, 
Boom Pop Dynamite. Several flavors of Boom Bop, Boom Pop, Boom Bop, Boom Bop, no, uh, combined into one powerful mixture. Plus 20% reload speed, plus 20% movement speed, plus 20% O2 recovery. Fucking hell. That's, um, it's pretty fucking powerful. Boom Pop Reactor, Licorice and Orange. Ugh, oh, that, that, that's disgusting. Um. Cola. And kill. And how is that good to you? Okay, interesting. Anyway, sorry. Just having a look at what we got. Eat the spaghetti. And then the raisin brown cereal. That's probably most of my health recovered. Maybe, I don't know. Good enough. Right, next up. Where is everybody else? You're going down! Oh, you You're can see me. Stay locked until we clear the area. How about that? You wish. Cool. So, I'll have a little loot around down here, see if there's anything of interest. Take all of the things, immediately overload myself again. That's locked, requires key, okay, that's locked, requires key, okay, never mind. Taking your pay packet, I'm afraid, buddy. And I'm taking all your shit. What's your spacesuit looking like? Mm, sure, you want mine now. I do wonder what the mentality would be like if you're in. A real life situation like this like would it be a case of okay everything on everybody is now mine or is it like okay everything on everybody is evidence and cannot be touched kind of thing like how does how how, how does a everyday real person not a kleptomaniac gamer like myself <laughs> think in this kind of situation I do wonder. Um, but then I also wonder if anyone actually cares. Tablet computer. And like at what point does evidence become loot? <laughs> when, when does it become fair game? Ooh, you very much exploded. Shame that med pack didn't help. Space troublemaker. And again, is a these spaces don't make sense in a narrative way. I mean, at least these ones are organised, but spaces are kind of supposed to be not organised, so... Should I lab out here? Mm, not really worth it. 
that's it. I'm happy to help you carry some things, Captain. It's all good. You, well, you, you already are. You cannot carry anything else, I don't think. Okay, did we loot in there? I'm sure we did. No! Also... Did I just completely dumb fuck and imagine something stupid? I think I did. Well, never mind. I'm just crazy, hallucinating. I don't know what's going on. The loot's getting to me, or lack of. Uh, no, we're definitely not taking that. No, we're not taking that. Yeah, yeah, I know, over encumbered. Sealant. Always needed to seal all of the things. Hmm. Cages for the creatures that they've got outside. Chemical burns in the animal urges. Animal urges. There we go. What well on Bill? That's how language works, and that song goes. Fucking moron. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm dumb. Been in there, right? Yes. So that's where I started my rambling spiel about what is evidence. Hey, George. I'm indeed gaming. How's it going? Welcome back. What's up? Like I said, someone's been taking out the spacers. Yeah, me. I, I don't believe it. Hello. We've lost so many people. Oh, gee. They all Good stuff. Gone. As far as I'm aware. Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How do you know that? How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Got, got my friend here. You know, I gave the snipers a day off and the artillery too. I'm not curious about you two. Uh, no, it's just me. Oh, uh, holy shit. I... <laughs> wow. I'm the protagonist. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. Okay. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. Good man. You guys fought a war recently. I suppose you want to help the Marines. I look forward to meeting this Captain Myung. Yes, he came here to help. What? Uh, I look forward to meeting this Captain Myung. She's... something else. Oh dear. <laughs> but Lieutenant, they're the UC, we can't... You're Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. But how? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. Yep. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. Pretty much. Yeah, soldiers that need us. Are you up for it? We could really use your help. Of course. Have to help, not a charity. I won't see good marines die. Yeah, I won't see good marines die. Good. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Excellent. I'm going to quickly loot the fuck out of this room. And then we can get going. Fancy? Fancy wine! Do you look at the Lose the money! XO9 report. Microbial sample of XO9 is truly extraordinary. We're not sure if this is the key to the impressive regenerative capabilities of XO9. We plan to do some gene editing on the EF3 fern and then run it through a battery of tests. The whole thing could be a long shot, but imagine if humans could regrow limbs in months, even days. Busy in possibilities. Indeed. That would certainly be handy. If you needed another hand. 
That's not what I wanted. That is. There we go. Plonk. <laughs> Just fucking throw it at the speakers. That notepad belongs over there. Clunk. Cool. Oh, the door support shipment from Oscar's system. It's gone. Uh oh. The spacers destroyed the transport. Why? It had no financial value. It's for science. Huh. Torres asked the Rangers to send someone, but the last time they did, the spacers left the system only to come back in far greater numbers. People are losing lives, for God's sake. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm, okay. Alright, we thoroughly looted. Um, okay, order of the day is stay the fuck behind me. If you go in front of me, you're a valid target. <laughs> I like to be a good guy. I'm not good at being a good guy. <laughs> right. Yes, that... Use oh no, that, that, that's just in there as well. Okay. Right. Okay, fine. Can you chuck a grenade, please? There we go. Matters is they're here now. Yes. And who the hell do we have here? Another scientist? Nope. Well, I'll be. Where's. Hang on. Where the hell has he gone? Oh, you're over there. Got it. Sup? Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? Uh, you see Vanguard. Uh, I'm in the vanguard, I'm with the rangers, just captain, pick up a distress school, space of plague on the surface systems. I think any chance I get to deal with them, no. UC vanguard, uh, no, but I'm in the vanguard. Huh, more UC bailing the FC out. Hmm. Captain Myung, UC marines. Veteran of the colony wars, the shield of Pardu Pass. Best damn marine in the service. Okay, someone's got a crush. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. <laughs> You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. The captain and all her marines. Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but you're ground pounders first. <laughs> I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. I'm fine to meet you, Captain. Uh, I can't believe you see commanders are right with this. What happened at Perdic Pass? War happened. Paduk Pass is a graveyard now. Lots of good soldiers, both sides, are buried there. Captain Myung held that pass for a week against the best mechs the Free Star could throw at us. When she pulled out, she blew up the whole damn pass. Took out a full mech battalion. Might have saved the entire nearer front. Don't believe the propaganda, Private. Paduk Pass was dirty business all around. <laughs> Glad you've got some humility. It's damn fine to meet you, Captain. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. Spirits? Here you We've go. We've bought Alcohol. ourselves an old-fashioned oh. stay of execution here. But it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. I, I thought... Okay. I've got a ship. Uh, sounds like we have a work cut out for us. Give me a few years and I'd make you a marine to be feared. Huh. I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps... Take your ship to the research camp and 
clear out any spaces. Uh, I'll take care of it. They went dark not too long ago. Oh shit! So hopefully they are still survivors. Just go quickly and safely. Right. Okay. Let's uh, just quickly loot everything again if it's not nailed down. Take Please it. let me help carry some of that, Captain. You already are. You're already overloaded. Shush. It's nice and simple. If it's not nailed down, we take it now. If it is nailed down, we come back later with a claw hammer to pull all the nails out. Nice and easy. Alien sandwich! Yeah, I don't think we could actually have saved anybody else here, but uh, there's a lot of bodies down here. A lot of bodies. I was also concerned that the uh, lieutenant had gotten himself uh, mangled. I didn't need that helmet. So does exactly how that happened, but whatever. Dude, all of the things. Yoink, yoink. So bolognese or something. Off we go. Sensor chipped deep core legendary space helmet. Yep. Uh, chameleon analyzer. Sensor chip plus 20% accuracy while aiming on the move. Well, that's not brilliant, but I will take it anyway. Yoink. I'll take it for it is free. Get the food out of the microwave. Sometimes you can, other times you cannot. Today we cannot. No. Cool navigator skip pack. What a waste of space. Bonk, bonk. I probably didn't need the space helmet. That's back outside, I think. Bonk, bonk. Uh, yep. And then we check all of the lockers to steal all of the things. Zero. Got entire another room to go through. I thought you said that the, the first person that we rescued last time was checking it out or something. Have we been in here? I get the feeling that we may have been in here earlier, potentially. Yeah, as in pre. Yeah, we've been in there. Okay, never mind. Ready. Get to the ship. No. Poik. And we got out through the Skyrim door. Anyone that spawned out here? No, good. Ah, yes. 
Uh, excuse you. No. See the bodies everywhere. Um. Cool. Good. Glad to know us Marines aren't the only ones crashing this party. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Weak. Cockpit, stand up. You. Thank you. I'm also about to take all of my things away from you. Even though you, it was helpful. Right, where, where, where are you? Where are you at? Read any good books lately? Uh, something like so, that. Oh. What's new with you today? Nice of everyone to turn up at last. Where's... Where's Hadrian gone? Really? Adrian, where did you go? I just heard you as well. Where have you got? Oh my goodness. Okay. It's gonna be that kind of day, is it? It's gonna be that kind of day. Oh, there. There you are. Hello. Captain. Trade stuff. Have something for me? Uh, no, but you got something for me. Is that everything? Yep, let's go. Lost in my thoughts, but glad to be back. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's dump a load of this. <laughs> Eleven lawgivers. These guns are terrible. Orion is supposed to be like an early game sniper rifle, but it's really bad at it. It's very heavy for what it does. Just in case the situation demands it. things and then we store all of the things and then maybe we sell all of the things <laughs> oh, I may have picked up an orange from but whatever uh, Still concerned as to what a veggie grinder actually is, but uh Temporal 
that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's do you Random tablets, vacuum tape. Okay, now we're back to a more appropriate weight. I shall. Uh, have a nap. Boy, hello, sir. Mm, I'm so lucky to wake up every day to someone like you. <laughs> hey, I'm kind. Now the party can get started. Finally. <laughs> Chill. Right, so we need to go here, I believe. A research camp. Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down. Sorry, I needed a mouthful of drink. Right, okay. What's that? That's a creature. Okay. It's a being organism. And now they're angry. Great. Oh, well, they're all dead now. We should collect all the resources we can from this thing. Amino acids. Okay. Canis palm. Membrane. All right. Sure. different Speeder box. Fuck. Me not like the speeder. Let me just check something. Yep, everything seems to be up and running. Okay then. Never mind. Ornamental and membrane, all of which are glands. Cool. Yeah, I need to scan this thing so we don't get any close to it. root. We could get some useful resources off of it. A little bit concerned about the amount of ships that are dropping. Otherwise, they marked up exactly the wrong people. Oops. 
Oh, dick shot. Sorry. And uh, we can't see them. I guess we're going in. Get running. You die third. Right, where are the rest of the bodies in? So there's what? Five or six of them or something? Oinky oinky oink. No, you are not the two that I rooted. Okay. I know I just want there a lot more here, but uh, never mind. Never mind. Yes, yeah, so why was there in there? What were they shooting at? Is a good question. What were you shooting at? that thing down there. Okay, dokey do you. Let's rescue. Friendly opens the door. Hi, you don't. Spaces are terrible. Terrible. You guys don't seem overly this concerned. This situation is getting out of control. It's fine. Corporal Mahoney radioed you coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. Sorry. But you're a regular hero. <laughs> I try. I get that a lot. Uh, you should thank your lieutenant. He made sure you weren't left to die. What happened here? Spacers dropped in some of their goons not too long ago. I managed to get most of us to the shelter. Any time they approached the shelter, we managed to repulse them. But time wasn't in our favour. Mm. Then you showed up, thank God. No, oh, thank Todd. Uh, you should thank your lieutenant. He made sure you weren't left to die. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But alright. <laughs> Mahoney said for us to go to ground. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvy safe from here. How many of you are there? There's like just, just this guy. Tell Taurus, thank you. It's literally thank just you. him. Um, oh. Lippers. Oops. There were too damn many of them. You saved us. Well, I did what I could. That's okay. Never mind. I'm just a botanist. Why? Why would the spacers? Good question. We'll be safe now. Get back to the lieutenant. I do not know why the spacers were being dicks to you guys. But, uh. Screw those guys. You want. Yeah. Is this it? Is, is this the two of you? It's just the two of you. Okay. So, yeah. What. What. What civvies? Who else is in here? Who else is in here? Where's all of their stuff? Ooh. Well, oh. never mind. 
hope that thing's well calibrated. <laughs> like my uh, never mind. Spiders. There we go. Another bug hunt. Yep. That's all it is. Just another bug hunt. Ugh. Gross. No lucky speeder. See where we end up. Uh oh, soundy storm. This is not where we're supposed to be. Where has the game taken us? Useful. Yeah. Weird. Okay, fine. Markers are all, either the markers are all messed up still, or I'm just dumb. More likely I'm just dumb. So I saw something that was blue and looks oddly objective-y and um, well, it wasn't. Hello. Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Mm. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. <laughs> Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. It's a noble goal. Sometimes you have to cut your losses. The injured can be used against you. Yeah. The war's not won yet. Tell me the plan. It's a noble goal. There ain't much room for honor in this damn business, so we have to hold on to what we can. Hmm. Captain, you should bring up your plan. I I believe it's a good one. Ooh. The spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Uh, sure there's a lot of them. <laughs> Not on your command! Uh, sure, you people are really keeping me busy. None of these answers I like, but, you know. Um, there sure are a lot of them. A good thing I can carpet bomb. Oh no, that's not in the game. Ain't that the truth. But I'll take any one of the heroes here over a dozen of them. <laughs> I concur with the captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off the manpower. The spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. Will do. These damn spacers. Too many. Let's start blowing shit up. I Make... have something for you, Captain. Yeah, I'll come get it later. Um. Yeah. I think this is going to be violent all of a sudden, so... Ship's ready! It's time to fight! Bombing retros. Orbit achieved. Stabilizing. Done. Right, how far out are they? Okay, they're on. They're over other planets. Cool. Okay, we can do that. Curious as to why that's marked. Let's do it.
woes. That was a, an angle, apparently. Sir, appreciate it. Now, where is he? Yo, woes! Let's not bump into that, shall we? Looting all of the things. Spaceship debris? That's not what we're here for, but still. Uh, what I should do now is save. Because that went pretty well. And I'm not sure. Is that the first battle we've had in the rebuilt ship? Might be. So I think that went pretty fucking well. And everything, and then we gotta go back over here. Nope, that's not what I wanted you to do. I want you to jump to there. There we go. Right, kill, crush, destroy. I hope the local creatures aren't too hostile. Uh, they prefer the term spaces, and they fucking well are. Damn it. Ow. 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 I think we're being attacked. Yeah, no shit. Is that a friendly that I was just hammering? Shouldn't have been. They had an objective marker over their heads, didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah, okay, let's, let's stop fucking around and get in there. Whoop. Well, they're gonna die tired. Yeah, they're definitely spicy. Cool. Right. I love how the combat music hasn't even kicked in, because we've just been murderizing them. Good. 
do it. Damn, there's more of them? Okay. muscle because I flubbed my landing because I tried to change weapons. Uh, mobilizer? Torn muscle. There we go, fuck that. Cool. That looks like a nice vulnerable pile of bad guys coming out of a uh, boarding uh, landing craft. That is not go far enough. That. Cool. That one was a bad one. There we go. No, 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 give me the loot, give me the loot, give me the loot, damn you. Give me my loot, you bastard. Uh, that was a terrible use of grenades on my part. Um, they did not go very far. Right. There's another one inbound, okay. Sure you want to do this? Open sesame. Good night. Nope. Well, she's stuck in the ceiling now. All this be mine. And all of you be fucking dead. Yep, you, um... Hang around. It only goes up from here. Right. How many more of these drops are we going to have to deal with? Probably a third one, I guess. No, I can't hear another one landing, though there are more hostiles still over here. Shit. Oops. That may have been a mistake. Or not. No, they're friendlies. Okay. Good. Cool. Right. Excellent. Let's put that away. Ready. Hello. The scientists here are good people. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. Mm -hmm. So many people. You well. That's the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. Sometimes you can't forget what was lost. Everyone here is alive because of cooperation. If you do your best you can every day with every decision, you don't have to regret a thing. Everyone here is alive because of cooperation. Huh. Well, just don't go saying that too loudly. <laughs> Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. <laughs> now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. <laughs> You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Uh, Might be okay. you want your medal, though. Oh, well, I mean, I'll take credits over a fancy bit of tin, so reckon you should dice. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh... It doesn't matter to me. I know exactly how you feel. Hmm. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Young. But I will never forget you. You're young, and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count, because I've always stuck by my principles. Hmm. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. 
It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. Good advice. Listen to that advice. Um... Yeah, I'd listen to that advice. You see? <laughs> I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. <laughs> if you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Star's hair. <laughs> oh, rare item, Peacekeeper. It's probably garbage. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, long barrel, laser sight, reflex sight, ergonomic sight, uh, ergonomic stock, extended mag. Woo! And it's, yep, it's an A99. Yep. Well. It is a thing. Radioactive lawgiver. Uh, all of this is shit. That's nice. Why am I injured? Dislocated limb. When did that happen? Did I flub it on the landing? Oh, oh my god, that looks like a blue, but I don't want to use a very powerful uh, blue one. When the fuck did that happen? Ah, oh, well, I'll find something on the ship. Or, uh, because I should have just regular immobilizers on the ship. If not, I might be able to sleep off. That makes two bad landings that I've had on this planet. Which is a bit peculiar. Any more loot? Give me the loot. Yeah, Berserker Ripshank. Yeah, totally, totally worth having. Oh yeah, those are the ones that I had to make sure that one of them was actually a uh, spacer. They were, it's fine. Already looted that. Yep, I already looted most of this place, so it's just the bodies, but that's fine. Right, I think. You might basically be good to go. Any fancy? No, oh, just foils. It's vile. Truly vile. Did you guys see that just black flicker? Yeah, you did. That's interesting. I wonder why that's happening. Hmm. Anyway. Let us GTFO. That's fine. Oh, I picked something up for you. Oh, yeah. I need to find just basic immobilizers or something. Let's have a look. I want to hear one of my stories? Or do you have one to tell me? Need something? Who knows? Uh, you have anything for me? Yes, I do. Here, it's all yours. What do we got? Nutrient vital fluids. Cool. Safe travels. And to you. Oh, no, sorry. Something. Uh, nope. We are looking for, and we're looking for just basic immobilizers. We do not have basic immobilizers. Fine. Uh, in that case, I suppose it will be. Yeah, we'll just pull another one of them and use it. I've got your back. Thanks. Well, can you sleep off negative conditions in this? I don't know if you can. <laughs> Emotional security for 11 seconds. Yep. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So what we shall do... What shall we do? How about we trade out for... Always a pleasure. Um, ready to head back out? I'm glad you're back. Let's get moving. I head back out. All right, I mean, just head promise back me you'll come back. Soon. Sometimes I just we'll turn off the Not grab drive so you can float around. How are you feeling about our relationship? No matter how difficult things have gotten, your love has given me strength. <laughs> it's clear that we belong together. Aww. 
I'm pleased to hear that, sir. Good. Any time you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. I hate... God knows you've done that enough times for me. <laughs> I hate that the, uh, the top option is... Actually, do you mind if I ask you if some it personal means questions? I get to spend more time with you, then ask away. Um, do you think Sona will be all right? Absolutely. Sona is clever, and she's proven that she can tackle anything life throws in her path. You can rest assured that she will get the best education and care that Constellation can possibly provide. You know. Awesome. Sona and I share an interesting bond. We both survived on that inhospitable world, and it drastically altered our lives. Mm. Most importantly, though, I'm certain we're both stronger after the experience. Hmm. You had any past relationships you're willing to discuss? There was a particular someone back in my days with the UC Navy. We actually became quite close at first. But as I rose in rank, I became more interested in my career than what she needed from me. I let her drift away. By the time I realized what was happening, it was too late. She requested a transfer, and I lost touch. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> I've dated other men and women at various points in my life, but I'd hardly classify any of them as relationships, hmm. as you might have guessed. I tend to concentrate on work and let my personal feelings fall by the wayside. It often drives others away. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, that's all for now. I'll be here. Cool. Let's go. Take care of yourself. Sweet. All right. Look who it is. It's me! Hop. And I'm in the roof. And I'm gonna get laid. Boink. One of these days, we need to actually get some sleep after going to bed. Nah. <laughs> Why would we want to do that? Why is everyone... It, it, do you is, need me somewhere? Is this some kind of intervention? Why is everyone gathering here on the bridge? That's kind of concerning. Okay, so you can't sleep off conditions. Got it. That's fine. I'll just jam that into my limb that is dislocated, apparently. Um... eggs in space. I've got to remember to do that. Because fuck that shit. Yeah, keep that though. Every name's unique weapon that I get, I, well, I always try and keep it. Right, uh, okay, so, to Neon. For absolute power. Uh, yeah, Neon Core. Now that we've rescued a, uh, Cool. There's something I'd like to discuss. Oh, sure. What's up? So, I've given everything we've discussed a lot of thought, and I've decided I'd like Aja Mamasa to conduct our marriage ceremony. Oh? I don't know who that is. Uh, sure, but I have to admit that makes me a bit jealous. What? Okay. Who is Aja Mamasa? You're kidding, right? No. She was the former chair of Constellation. Oh, the right. One that passed Whoops. the torch to me about five years ago. Shit. 
dumbass. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I remember Aja mentioning she presided over a previous commitment ceremony between Barrett and his husband Irvin. Besides, the thought that Aja would be there to officiate this important step in my life is comforting. I hope you don't mind. I think that's a wonderful idea. I knew you'd understand. So, with that settled, I suppose we just keep it a quiet ceremony? Just the two of us? Um... Did you want to invite anyone from Constellation? Honestly, no. I respect everyone at Constellation, but this is part of my personal life. Right, if okay. it's all the same to you, I'd like to keep my personal feelings about us separate from Constellation. Oh, okay. Um... I think we should invite your mother. If anyone else had suggested that, I'd say no. But hearing it from you, I know in my heart that it's the right thing to do. I'll send her an invite and we'll see if she shows. Yeah. Anyone else? Or will the three of us with Aja presiding be enough? Uh, I think we should invite Sona as well. Oh, that's sweet of you to suggest, but I think bringing Sona all the way to Aja's home would be too much anxiety for the poor girl. We need to give her some time. Okay. Um, sounds cosy. I think that'll be very nice. All right. It's settled then. I'll send a message to Aja asking for her to preside over the ceremony. As soon as you're ready, let's head to Paradiso. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I love you. Love you too. Ow. Shit. Shit. We're gonna have to redo that. Oh, that's annoying. Because we're doing bad stuff for bad people, so we need Barrett on the team. And I didn't realise she was about to become undismissible. Because I are dumb. Right, hang on, what have we done? Have we uploaded? No, we haven't. Of course not. We also haven't fixed up bloody dislocated whatever. Uh, I know what I'm doing. At all times. I know exactly what I'm doing. Need a hand with something? Nope. Doink. 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 And of course, a lot of this we're gonna sell anyway, so when we get to neon, so it kinda doesn't matter. So I'm going to have to sort it all over again. Yay! Oops. Oh, whatever. I don't use it. Okay, right. Now, Barrett. Where's Barrett? Barrett, hello! Fascinate me. Okay, Finally. let's go. Let's get out of here. Last one through the ship is a rotten Prasada berry. <laughs> All yours, Barrett. Try to come back in one piece this time. You got it, my friend. <laughs> right. We're gonna save, and we're gonna do it properly. Because we're doing bad shit. But we're doing good shit. But we have to do bad shit on the way. On the way. On the way! That's the snake. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. Yep. That's why we're here. Could have gone to Neon Core, like I thought, but the uh, objective markers are a little bit wonked. Right. The right. Where's the weapons? 
place. Let's trade up for us here. I would have loved to hang around here as a kid. Now yeah, I realize how again. dangerous that could be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's got to be a megacorp that'll hire someone like me. Okay, you sound like you might have a quest. Hello. Hey, if you hear about any entry-level job openings, let me know. I've been trying to find an office job, but all of them require like five years of experience. Yeah, I know that feeling. Uh, is there a job you prefer? Um, where have you applied so far? Uh, what skills do you have? Well, I went to school for business, but it's not like I remember any of it. <laughs> Fair. In my last interview, the recruiter asked me what I thought about Keynesian economics. <laughs> I asked her, which planet is Keynesia on again? And she just looked at me and cringed. I don't blame her. Well, that's really specific and boring. Where have you applied so far? Keltcorp and Stroud. But I haven't heard back, and that's threatening to cut off the cred spigot. Uh, uh, someone has a well for employers to get back to you. Yeah, you probably aren't getting those jobs. Reugent's hiring, if you heard the announcement. Sometimes it takes a while for employees to get back. I'm not going to recommend to that, because I think that's a bad thing. Sometimes it takes a while for employees to get back to you. But I need the credits now, and even if I do get hired, who knows when that first paycheck comes in. Yeah, I know that feeling, sorry. Is there a job you prefer? To be honest, I don't really know what I want. I just know that if I don't find something soon, my parents won't just disown me. They'll have me stripped for parts. Ah, well... Let me know if you hear of any openings. Sure, I'm fairly certain Ryujin is a bad thing. The warlord. I just wish I was there to see it. <laughs> How's Sticks doing? Have a look for yourself. <laughs> He's never looked better. Had the paint cleaned up, some things smoothed out of his chassis, and even upgraded his firmware. <laughs> All thanks to you. Yeah, glad I could look, help. I, I know it's ridiculous to be this excited about having that big old tin can around, but uh, <laughs> he's still the only friend I've got. Come to think of it, after you took the time to help me, I, I'd say I've made a new friend. Yeah, man. And uh, you're welcome here anytime. Oh, thanks, dude. What have you got for sale? Help yourself. Uh, right. Oh, sell from the ship, because there's so much shit on the ship that we need to get rid of it. Yeah, like that. Uh, that, 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 that. <sighs> Fucking 13 Grendels for 30 grand. Unbelievable. Sixty-nine, nice. Whoops. I just sold a load of things for money that he didn't have. I'm dumb. Oh well. Uh, right. I need those. I need. I'm kind of been building up stock of these, but I still, I'm not entirely sold on the weapons that use them. Twenty-two grenade launcher rounds. That's going to be very helpful because those are not as common as I'd like them to be. Um, hmm. Yeah, 11 Equinox, it's 3600. Wow. 15 Lawgivers, and it's not even 5 grand. Unbelievable. Uh, money in games. It's always a bit strange. Um, right, do we want any more gunnery? Or do we want to find other ammo elsewhere? Let's see if we can find other ammo elsewhere. Right, uh, I know it's none of my business, but what happened to your eye? It's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Freestar side during the Colony War. Ah. <laughs> I was a ground pounder. Slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. And did pretty well, too. Until an EM weapon took out our transport. They yeah. pulled me out of the wreckage, but the damage was done. Honestly, I, I consider myself lucky. Most of the other soldiers died in the crash. Ah, sorry, dude. Always keep plenty of ammo in stock, too. Yep. Ready. Where it was. Yours goods, and then they had. What 
what's his face is something else. Hello. Just want to say again, I'm grateful for the help you gave. Getting Dietrich to stop those payments. No worries. Uh, I'd like to buy something. No problem. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Hopefully. You got some blammo? Mm, not the kind of blammo I'm looking for. That's a shame. Shit. There are the picks there. And let's sell you some random crap. Random crap. Burp. Excuse me, what? Let's Tell go. everyone you know about our store. Oh dear. Oh, you're kind of shady. No, you're just a random dude. Got it. Apartments. Where was? That's Fusion, I think. We're gonna go and quickly find. Uh, we could drop into the trade authority, but I like to trade with characters that we've got. So you got us out of physics, that was it. Yeah. Hello. Come on in, please. Have a good look around. Let's see what you got. If you don't see it, you don't need it. <laughs> Dear Jpets. Uh, ah, you don't have any ammo at all. Okay. Weird. Sure. That's... unusual. That was a bit crap, but whatever. Apparently I don't need ammo, because he doesn't sell ammo. Okay. Let us make our way to where we're supposed to fucking be. And we need to... What? The door. Okay. Oh yes. Madame Sauvages. Estelle Vincent. Who's up there? Strike First of all. So we better be in our best behavior. Hello. Something like that. Right, I, I need hope to go. Your in no, not at all. Totally not sneaking into the you know, the, the through the kitchen into the bedroom to find some incriminating evidence. Me a velocity, dummy. I think we're in luck. Estelle, you found a buyer. I did less than a week. I'm impressed. There's just one teeny little catch, though. Whenever there's a catch with you, it ends up costing me money. <laughs> Before you give me the guillotine, hear me out. <laughs> the buyer wants the merch, but they want it tomorrow night. And there it is. Do you have any idea what it will cost to get that many crates out of Xenofresh by tomorrow? <laughs> no, not this time. What if I told you they wanted 15 cases this time, at full price? Hmm, what about your comrades at the Crimson Fleet? Won't they want a taste? Hmm. I'd hate to lose half of our profits. You just worry about the shipment. I'll handle the fleet. All right, Estelle. You have a deal. Here's your drink. You're a doll, dummy. Cheers. Hmm. Right. All the best criminals, make sure they record their incriminating conversations. Hello. You looking to get zoned? Not exactly. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So. I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Ah, uh, I'm pretty tired of being called a rook. 
for the crap and get to work. Need specifics. What? Who said no one's taking you seriously? Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Oh, for goodness sake. Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. <sighs> I need specifics. Specifics, huh? Okay, fine. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. Mm -hmm. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. I've dealt with Bayou in the past. He's got a clear set of gold, I'll give you that. Huh. Grab me a river. If you want to piss off Delgado by complaining, that's on you. We both need to do what we're told. Bayou? Who the heck is that? Benjamin Bayou. Neon's esteemed mayor, or administrator, or whatever the hell you want to call him. Right. He's also the greediest bastard you'll ever meet. Had his fingers in everyone's business, and Giggity. the hustle to back it up. The only reason I'm allowed to operate on Neon is because I pay well to keep my involvement off his radar. I see. The last thing I need right now is an amateur like you getting me kicked off world. Charming. Um, you want to piss off Delgado by complaining, that's on you. Alright, alright. Get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. Uh huh. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdine's facility in the underbelly. Okay. What exactly is the power core? Some fancy name the brain trusted Jennerdine calls the room where all the power from the conduction grid is stored. Okay. Cute, right? Hey, don't look at me. I didn't build the damn thing. All I know is that the tech inside the place is valuable. See, where's the underbelly? What kind of facility we're talking about? Uh, what kind of facility we're talking about then? No, I already know. That sounds easy enough. Love the confidence. Hmm. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. Mm -hmm. While you're inside Jennerdine, I need you to plant a virus into their system. Why? It's a simple side job that'll learn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Why? Why should I bother doing this for you? <laughs> the elevator doesn't exactly go to the top floor in that head of yours, does it? Mm. Everything in the Crimson Fleet is accomplished through a decent helping of give and take. Mm -hmm. As in, I'm not going to give you the information to get your precious data unless you take this virus and upload it like I asked. Got it. Okay. Um, always interested in making extra money. Well, well, look at you. Huh. You're smarter than I thought. Yeah. Jennerdine has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, That's take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Mm hmm. Right. Research methods. This high speed wireless data collection of siphon should make the job a cinch. It might be wireless, but you aren't going to be able to use it from here, genius. Thanks. Jennerdine's <laughs> got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. Yep. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. Okay. Eh, there's gotta be a cat. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin <laughs> Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. Okay. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. Mm -hmm. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Gotcha. Okay, evidence extort a Yumi. Okay. Can you give me the lowdown on Euphorica? Pretty laid back club over in Ebside. Owner's name is Maiko. She's young, but sharp as a razor, and has gang muscle to back her up. Mm. The little Aurora lounge she has tucked away in the building is the real gold mine. Said she modeled it after opium dens on old Earth. <laughs> Bayou takes a cut of the profits, of course. The rumor says it's way less than he usually takes. No one knows why. Huh. 
Tell me, uh, what's Brinson Bay's story? Nepotism gets him the job at Jennerdyne as their chief technician. Hmm. Yet the guy doesn't know the first thing about electrical engineering. Okay. They obviously invented the position just to give them more on a salary. <laughs> One of the many poorly kept secrets in Neon. Frankly, hmm. I think he's such a screw up. Benjamin Bay, you stuck his ass in that facility under the city to keep him out of the limelight. Ha. Huh. Anything I need to know about Ayumi Komiko? Businesswoman. Tough as whole plating. Hmm. She's the COO at Jennerdyne, and I can assure you she didn't get there with her winning smile. Hmm. As for her relationships, well, that's a bit more complicated. Publicly, she's having a bit of a fling with Benjamin Bayou. But okay. rumor has it that she's just using Bayou and having a little bit of fun on the side with Micah, the owner of Euphorica. Mm -hmm. If I were you, I wouldn't bother trying to appeal to her good nature. She's a manipulative person who uses people to get what she wants. Got it. Tell me anything useful about Genodyne? Not much to tell, really. Thanks to their nifty little conduction grid, they're able to provide power for the entirety of Neon. Hmm. Damn thing was supposed to be some kind of miracle invention, turning lightning into usable electricity. Neat trick, right? Hmm. Only catch is that you need a planet like Voli, where lightning strikes often enough to make it feasible. Guess how many of those exist? <laughs> Ding! If you said zero, you're absolutely correct. So Jennerdyne has been in dire financial oh. straits for years. Huh. What's the conduction grid? I know the conduction grid. Fuck's sake. I miss it's still around. Uh, yeah. You're not the only one. The only reason they haven't folded is because they charge exorbitant fees for power. I'm talking two or three times what it costs in New Atlantis. Okay. Okay, now, on to round two of our little game. Guess who has a major stake in Jennerdyne and soaks up all that delicious profit? Jennerdyne shareholders, Rajan. People have no alternatives for receiving power? Not a single one. In fact, there are no legal alternatives for anything in <laughs> this godforsaken city. The only thing people can do is deal with the bullshit and try to get on with their miserable lives. Hmm. But let's get back to round two of our little game. Oh dear. Guess who has a Um General Dine shareholders? Right, Eugene Corporation is an option. Ooh, not <laughs> even close. The answer you were looking for isn't another corporation. It's a person. Okay. It's Bayer? good old Benny Bay. Yeah, Bay. That mm -hmm. son of a bitch has a finger in every single pie in the sorry excuse for a city. Giggity. Dennerdine's no different. All off the books, of course. Mm. How the hell do you think Brayson Bayou got the job down there? It wasn't because of his good looks or smarts. I can promise you that. Mm. Got it. Okay. Watch your step. Benjamin Bayou has eyes everywhere. Sweet. So. Okay, so is this another one where the virus is optional? Or have I already failed that? I may have already failed that. Hmm. Okay. I may have had to say, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Okay. So. We need to ask Mika about Amy's whereabouts or locate evidence to extort her. All artists so. political, but especially the You really can't complain about something that is literally about it. Bayou Plaza, okay. It's big, all right. Hmm. I'm not sure what else. The Astro Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? Okay, yeah, right. Genodyne Industries. Okay. 
Uh, one piece of evidence can be found inside the safe in Janadine's office inside the trade towers. Janadine Industries 4. I was going to pick a lock or persuade the reception assets to provide the key. Draw players will have it. Yeah, okay, so it's in the safe. Right. Um, do we persuade or pick a lock? Hey, buddy. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Yes, very important. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Okay. Um, I thought would have been nice. What's the conduction grid? I thought would have been nice. Well, like I said, it shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff, too. Hmm. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you. But I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. Oh? I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. Hmm. I expected this company to be making a fortune. It's highly unfun to me. Why are you being so open with this kind of sensitive information? Why? Because I'm sick and tired of putting on a corporate face and pretending that nothing's wrong. Fair. It's do or die time around here. We can either spin our wheels forever or worse, go under completely. Or we can hire the protagonist to do something. Don't mind talking about it, I'm willing to listen then. Um I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Okay. Sounds like you need a new person, sure. Uh, is conduction grid Genadine's only product? No, of course not. We still produce smaller power systems and backup generators, but nothing even close to the magnitude of the conduction grid. Mm. Genadine needs to come out with something spectacular to put us back on the map. If not, we'll remain stagnant forever. Or worse. Mm, sounds about right. Um, you in charge around here? Unfortunately, no. I'm in third on the corporate ladder. Okay. One step above me is Ayumi Komiko. She's the COO of the company. And then there's Kaito Harada, our esteemed CEO who never seems to be around. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you need a new person in charge of R&D. <laughs> You'd think that, right? Mm -hmm. The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. Hmm. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first <laughs> thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Hmm. How did Brunson get the job in the first place? Isn't it obvious? Uh, you... Administrator Bay, you clearly leaned on Miss Komiko to get his brother hired. Giggity. It's nepotism in action. Hmm. Why do you care so much about what happens to Genadine? I work here. I can give you 117 reasons. Our employees. Oh. Uh... If Genadine goes completely under, how many of them will lose their jobs? How many might get cut in a restructure? Hmm. My position puts me in charge of the welfare of our personnel. I can't in good conscience allow that to happen to them. Okay. Surely there are other scientists working on Brayson's side. Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Okay. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on. But I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou. But I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? Okay. If you're worried about the company, then send the report to Administrator Bayer. Administrator Bayer is dangerous, barrier. What exactly does the report say? It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the Research and Development Division. I'm also including a list of all the failed experiments he's greenlit, and how much they've cost Genadine as proof of his incompetence. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. <sighs> if you're willing to talk to a random person that just walked in off the lift about this, it's obviously a bad situation. So send it. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. It's all good, man. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, 
feel free to ask. I need access for to um so can you tell me how the conductor grid works? The span above the city is outfitted with a specially developed electromagnetic absorption system. When a lightning discharge hits the span, the energy is instantly distributed across the grid to prevent overload. Mm -hmm. The energy is then transferred through a series of polyphasic capacitors and rectifiers to ensure all of the negative and positive strikes are equalized. At this point, the energy is clean, and it gets stored in massive stored cells in Neon's underbelly, from which it's parceled out and used for power. Cool. Why aren't there conduction grids in every city? Because there's not enough lightning. That's an excellent question. And the answer for it is surprisingly simple. Oh. The conduction grid is only effective in lightning-rich environments. That's why Volai was chosen as its primary development site. Mm. Genodyne has always hoped to adapt the grid's absorption technology for other applications, but nothing public has ever been announced. Interesting. Uh, where did Genodyne get its start? Genodyne was founded in 2232 by the original designer of the conduction grid, Felicia Corbin. Working from her facility in Neon, it took her almost 25 years to get the conduction grid up and running. Hmm. That was Genodyne's first and last major success. Yeah. Can I ask you some questions about Ayumi Komiko? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Sure. Um, how long has she been your boss? I've only been working here for a few years now, and she's been my boss the entire time. Mm -hmm. Well, the big boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis, I think. Okay, that's a bit weird. Do you enjoy working uh, under her? Uh, she's my boss. She's fine. <laughs> Look, like I said, I don't want to get into serious trouble. I understood. She might be a bit tough on all of us, but being responsible for Neon's power grid is a very stressful position. Hmm. Sometimes that stress trickles down. Gotcha, right. Hope to see you again soon. Now we're gonna save. Now we're gonna persuade you. No, it's good. As as long as it doesn't get. Yep. Do you suspect? Do you suspect that she's involved in anything illegal? Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Sure you can, dude. Um, nobody will ever know you told me. I promise. I hope I can trust you. Yeah, man. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Oh, Don't shit. get ahead of yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, you're wasting my time. Don't mean to annoy you, I just need information. Okay, I get it. I just need a second to think. There you go. Okay, listen. Ding! You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. Giggity. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. Oh. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, mm. yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Deal. Uh, if you're so nervous about being involved, why are you allowing me into the safe? No, don't care, that's all. Uh, why are you allowing me into a safe? Because I'm sick and tired of the corruption that's running through this city. People around here spend half their lives terrified about being backstabbed. Spend the rest of it planning on how they're going to screw over someone else. Yeah. Something rotten is going on in this company. And one day, I hope to find out what it is. I hope I haven't killed you. That's all I wanted to know. Sure, sure, no problem. I'll catch you later. Take it easy. Thanks for taking the time to talk. No worries, just, you know. Oh, hello. Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. Got it. Um. Right. This is all stealing. There we go. Kind of tempted just to nick all the money as well. I don't need it though. Let's just take what we need and get out of here. Whoa's. Random computer. Oh, that'll be how we um, unlock it. Otherwise, 
Let's have a little listen to what we got. Or read. What have we got? Alright, Ben. What was so important I had to come to the office in the middle of the night? It's the numbers, Ayumi. I don't like what I'm seeing. If you'd stop interfering with my company, the numbers would be better. Your company? That's funny. I thought it belonged to Mr. Harada. Give me a break. We both know you set up that identity so we could both reap the profits off the books. If Jenardine was showing a profit, we wouldn't be having this conversation. How the hell am I supposed to make a profit when all I have is your brother, the idiot, and my chief technician? I'd choose your next words very carefully, Miss Komiko. Raise the utility costs to your clients, cut some staff, I don't care how you do it. I want Jenardine's profits soaring by the end of the month. And if I ever hear you talking about Brayson like that again, well, I'm sure you can imagine the consequences. Oh dear. That's... That's not great. I may have just got this guy killed. You need to wear your helmet on this planet. You know that, right? Yeah, but, um, I am. Hmm. Intriguing. Right. So, what is happening? Uh, we are no longer well rested. So I think I might just cheeky fast travel back to the ship. And let's do a cheeky fast travel back to the ship. Yeah. Oink. Hey, you might want this. Oh, you can bounce on you, pull me back. Any new orders for me? No, you're all good. Also, why are you speaking over the radio when I'm I hope you're here? having a good day. Why are you on the ship? Your father is at the lodge, I think. Oh, good. Story time. Love it. Uh, you got anything for me? Thought you'd never ask. Here, all yours. Alien jerky? Oh no, you've been jerking aliens. <laughs> uh... I do like that each of the companions will, like, give you different stuff. It's, um, amusing. I love uh, Andrea's, that, um, she just, fi she, she finds and gives you money. No, no, no questions, no negatives, just, just gives you money. Every now and again. And it's just like, oh, right, okay. Poik. Oh, good, you're up. Need a moment. I am good to go. So let us fasty travel to the Neon Core. Neon Core. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? No. What is my skill point situation? I'm close to level 64, but uh, not there yet. I want, I want to be able to do all the things. Why can't I do all the things? Why can't I get a higher level and do all the things? I haven't seen a leech in a while. You think the city got them all? Maybe. <laughs> Nothing be getting zoned in the members Plenty lounge. Space Hello. In the members lounge today. Hmm, I'm looking for Ayumi Komiko. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? That's a defensive situation. Why do you care so much about Ayumi? Not that it's any of your business, but we're very close. We're in love. Ah. We refuse to let anything bad happen to her. No matter how much trouble she's gotten herself into. That explains a lot. Um... I have some documents for her to sign. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. 
You hmm. debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. It's nothing personal, friend. <laughs> I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Okay. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. That's fine. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. Of course. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Okay. Sure. Option will kill her. Excellent. Here you go. And here is your access key. Thanks. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Ignore the uh, sounds of now sit gunfire. Now relax and unwind. Right. So... Yeah, we need to get the Genodyne pass key. Where's the other... Hang on, I just need to look up where the other piece of evidence is. We got uh, the one in Savages, we've got the one there, and then this one is on the table behind her when we get in there. Okay, cool. Nice and easy. Yes, I am using a guide because quests without quest markers piss me off, sorry. <laughs> Especially these kinds of very distributed quests. Hello. Yeah. What do you want? Um, you work for Genodyne, right? Before you continue, let me save you some time. If you're having a problem with your power or complain about your rates, you need to contact our customer <laughs> service department. Uh, Anything else? You sound like an IT guy. Um, I need a way into the Genodyne power facility. Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind because. There's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Huh. Um, hmm. Crimson Fleet's asking, not me. Uh, uh, help me, or this uh, evidence of your scheme with Bayou goes ends up on SSNN. How the hell did you find that? Easily. It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? Who? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here. Take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. Thanks. You're going to need it. Thank you kindly. Um. Is there something personal going on between you and Benjamin Bay? I suppose if I don't explain. A copy of that recording you found might end up on the next SSNN report. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> a few years back, the previous CEO of Genodyne went missing. As the COO, I was next in line for the job. Uh -huh. Instead, Bayou muscled his way into the company and gave me an ultimatum. Either back up his bullshit Mr. Harada identity, or I'm gone. Mm. I had no choice. But I decided right then and there, I was going to do whatever I could to take what was rightfully mine. If that meant seducing Bayou to tip him off balance, then so be it. Luckily for me, Mike has been incredibly understanding about the whole thing. Hmm. What happened to the previous CEO? CEO. What do you think happened? Bayou started sticking his nose into Genodyne's business. All but outright demanding a cut of the profits. In huh. response, the CEO made a huge mistake by threatening to take his grievances to the FC. His shuttle never arrived. Shit. Need I say more? Okay. Um, it's nice to have someone like that by your side. Micah is the only person in this godforsaken city that's kept me from going completely under. She doesn't want money, doesn't use me for influence or as a stepping stone to get ahead. 
She loves me for being me. And I love her for being the same. That's... When this stupid mm. bullshit is over, and Bayou is ten fathoms deep under Neon, we'll be there for each other. Forever. Nice. So, I'm guessing... What, exa well, what exactly do you do for Genodyne? What is this? A job interview? Sure. I'm the COO of the company. Second to the top. Right under our esteemed CEO, Mr. Harada. Hmm. Also known as Benjamin Bayou. So when you ask me what I do for Jennerdyne, the answer is nothing. The Bayous run the show, and I tread water. Ah. The salary helps, of course, but at the end of the day, I'm just a joke. Sitting in an office to make things look legitimate. I feel that. Um, what is Benjamin Bayou have to hide the fact that he's CEO because he's taken a massive cut of it? Keeps him off the Free Star Collective's radar. Hmm. They might actually step in if they discover that the same person controlling the city's regulations and bylaws benefits financially from them. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't figured it out by now, Benjamin has a stranglehold on the city. You can't take a piss without him charging you after flush. Hmm. Try and get in his way, and then he uses neon security to beat you senseless. Or the Sioga Syndicate to make you disappear. Got it. I'm guessing there's not much love for how things are progressing at Genodyne. If you had to work with Brayson Bayou, you'd understand. The man is still a totally incompetent fool, and he's running our company into the ground. The worst part of it is that he's Administrator Bayou's brother. So I can't fire him. I can't reassign him. I can't even yell at him. It's like having a cut on your body, and you're helplessly watching yourself bleed to death. Except in our case, we're hemorrhaging money. Got it. Okay. Right. Thank you. Remember, we never talked. Got it? Got it. That was a wonderful little conversation we just had. See? Nice and easy. You good? Yep. Nice and easy, nice and simple. No problem at all. So, enter Genodyne through the storage entrance. I'd be making fortune. Click. Okay, so. Okay, so I didn't get the fucking stuff, did I? I didn't get the evidence because I'm fucking dumb. Should be a table behind her. Then I the storm. Okay. Ah! Uh, Bill didn't use brain. One more thing. One more thing. I thought we were done here. We are. Or did I get the evidence? I don't think I did. Table behind her. There. There's no table. There's also no behind her. And the sound broke. Did I get... did I pick up the evidence? Am I really dumb? No, I did not pick up the evidence, so where the fuck? What? Do we have... What? Let's press speed this. Am I... am I losing my mind? Is she not supposed yes. to be sat there? She's probably not supposed to be sat there. If Did... you wish to relax with some Aurora, I have plenty available. Oh, I'm good, thanks. Where the hell? Excuse me a second. Oh, evidence is behind the bar, if I remember correctly. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Maps and No. Don't mind me being behind here. Uh, everything's fine. Everything's chill. It's all good. Aha! Yes! Can't you see I'm busy, Estelle? What do you want? I've decided to accept your offer. Let's make sure this is absolutely clear. I don't want any screw-ups. 
I'll provide the shipment IDs, the equipment description, and schematics, and in return. In return, I disable the freighter, transfer the goods, and then transport it the rest of the way for final sale. Hmm. You got it. <laughs> Too bad your friends back at the key don't know you're cutting them out of the deal. I wonder what they'd say if they found out. Probably the same thing your boss in the big shiny tower would say if he knew you were funneling electrical components, right? Hmm. Well, we don't have to worry about that because neither of them will ever find out, right? That's right, Tuts. Let's just enjoy the credits and keep our big mouths shut. Hmm? After all, it's just good business. Excellent. Thank you very much for that, Maps and No. Appreciate it. That was... Okay, the, the guide that I have is entirely unhelpful on that one. I mean, like, that one was pretty specific as being the table behind her, but there is no table behind her. Or have I, did I completely misread it? I must have completely misread it or something. Let's try that again. Yeah. Located in New York as members only lounge, players will need to spend some credits to access its exclusive area, but once inside, players can find the Ayumi's offer evidence on a table behind Ayumi. Yeah. That? Uh, right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yes. Thank you for that, but, uh, thank you for being here, Mapson. Uh, appreciate it. I hope you, hear you are enjoying what you're seeing, even though I'm just kind of fumbling. Um... Right, okay, so that's uh, the next major quest line. Okay, now, now we can continue. How are you doing? How's things? How's everyone in chat doing? Great to have you all here. Appreciate it. Moving. I'm moving. Where the magic <laughs> By magic, I mean creating aurora out of fish guts, I guess. <laughs> you just sell food. I do have food to sell. Hello. If there's anything you need, anything at all, you let me know. Finding any closure about your husband's death? For months, knowing what happened to Thomas was all that I had on my mind. Finding out the truth, and knowing that you vindicated his death, took a huge burden off my shoulders. Now that the weight's been lifted, I suddenly have so much free time, I almost don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> it's definitely a much easier problem to live with. I can promise you that. Fair enough. What have you got for sale? Oh, of course. Take your time. I think you just sell food, and I think you just buy food here. Oh, well, aid. Uh... Alien sandwich. Alien scramble. Breakfast dish made from alien eggs and diced vegetables. Ah, got it. It's like bubble and squeak. Cool. Um, yeah, so all that. Battle stim. Uh, let's do XP game for 15 minutes. I keep that then. Bog grog. Uh, gross. I didn't want to sell that one. Uh, that one. Whoops. Whoops, the doodles. Um, hmm. That's just what I've got on me, isn't it? Go here more. I know what I'm doing. Sell all of the food and all of the wine and all of the food and snacks. Creature jam. 
Kal Mahani slow stewed and reduced lentils in a mix of spices and herbs. Grilled cheese sandwich. You'll get uh or two. Yeah, there you go. Uh no, we keep that. Secret paste. Orange. Booze. Uh no, I'll just keep selling you heavy stuff. I say heavy stuff. You know, non chems. For the moment at least. Cereal, salmon, snacks, sparkling water. Selling all of the food. Why do we have so much food? So precisely some. There you go. Have fun. Thank you so much for visiting me again. No worries. I'll take it easy. Right. Quickly to the back entrance. And we're gonna need to be sneaky, so silent shotgun it is. Actually what I'm gonna quickly do is because there's an advert going on for those who are unfortunately suffering adverts. I'm going to pause for a moment and take one of my meds. I'll be back as quickly as possible. Okay, sorry about that, I am back, and we are sneaking in the back way. Barret, 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 okay, okay. Obviously missed the memo. Everybody works the best when they're scared and tired, right? Something like that. Why are you sneaking? Ooh. Ammo that I don't use, but it's not counting as stealing, so... going to complain. What was that? Someone just said something, I missed it. Shit. Sneaky, I'm 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 sneaky. Actually, what we should have out, just in case we need it, is this fucking non lethal weapon. That would make more sense. No one look this way. Nobody looked this way. Damn it. Detected by the cleaning robot. Don't wait what? So don't praise the machines. Oh uh, yeah. See if they're viable replacements for us. One time cost, no salary, it's only a matter of time. Ha <laughs> yeah, and then you gotta pay for replacement parts. Yoink. Yoink. I don't know why this doesn't count as stealing, but I'm going to take it. Damn, man. Fucking 
cleaning room always messing with my sneak sense. <laughs> Is this right? This doesn't seem right. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be going down, not up. Presumably this is where I'd introduce the virus. Technician Lyons Computer. Experiment report. My second attempt to adapt the conduction grid technology to a spaceship shield array has failed. There are two main issues. First, the experimental grid draws power from the reactor, which is the opposite of what we want. For this thing to be a success, the grid needs to become fully self-sustaining when exposed to EM damage. Second, the insulating circuits that we utilised in Neon's grid are far too bulky to install in a shipboard module. My only choice at this point is to deal with the issues one at a time, as my resources down here are quite limited, as Chief Technician's Bay's advice continues to prove worthless. After months of trial and error, I have discovered an alloy that might provide the perfect balance of conductivity and insulation that's required for the experiment to succeed. The problem is that the alloy consists of rare metals we, that we don't have on hand. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough, but Chief Technician Bayer insists that he has better ideas in the works and refuses to pay for the raw materials that I need. I don't understand how he can be so blind. Does he want this company to fail? After halting the insulation solution, I've turned my attention to the power drain issue. Using the lab's EM emitter, I've subjected GDY072's grid to a wide array of impact simulations. From my observations, the grid remains self-sustaining for a short period of time, but reaches a fall-off point where it needs to draw power from the ship's reactor. Well, yes. Interestingly, this mysterious fall-off point seems to coincide with the temperature spike in the lateral array. Since the array we set up in the lab simulation is outdated, I've put in a request to purchase a new one from Stroud Eklund. It's my hope that with the, up the updated array will not suffer from the same issue. Uh, this will be the last entry for GDY072 grid. I've hit a solid wall in my experiment and can't progress beyond this point. My knowledge of astronautics and ship systems is decent, but for the experiment to be a success, we need people to, with a high degree of expertise in those fields. Every request I've made to that extent has been denied or ignored. I'm therefore terminating this experiment until another technician wishes to take over or Chief Technician Bay resigns and we get someone who actually knows what they're doing in this place. Okay. You know, if we find Chief Technician Bio, I might just fucking kill him. Projected failure. Laboratory results, Project GRT-089A. Technician Oyama reporting. The emissive current beaming system is not performing, as per Chief Technician Bayou's parameters. Hmm. His vision that a massively high voltage current can be projected through the air has proven to be impossible. Though such systems have existed in the past, the amount of power required to transfer energy from the conduction grid into our storage is prohibitively expensive. The chief technician has had us work for three straight weeks on an emission array, and I can conclude without a doubt that it's completely impractical. When I pressed him about the overrun on costs of the project, he said, and I quote, don't worry about it. I know what I am doing.
opening fire. Outgoing fire. Beginning combat protocol. Um, where'd they go? Don't touch those cables unless you want to become part of them permanently.
Well, if this doesn't work, we can always resort to the earliest of human solutions. Smash it. Talk to me, my dear friend. I need some help here! Tired of me already? Resort. Project GRD092A. Technician Shibata reporting. Oh, shit. I am reporting on the progress of Chief Technician Bayou's project. The multi terabyte nutrient preparation node. Okay. We've discovered by that directly connecting the power conduct into the conduction grid matrix. We can avoid signal loss. This should increase our output significantly and reduce the results by the factor of at least 10. Our goal, as per the chief technician, is to have my burrito ready the moment after I shut the door on the device. And though we've come close, we are still falling short by three seconds. We shall continue to investigate. Bloody hell. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, I just discovered that I was off comm. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, Barrett's still wandering around, but at least he's not attracting gunfire this time. Moron. Oh yeah, yoy. It's a shame that I can't have a companion around because I like having a companion around, but I didn't think companions were capable of setting off. Sorry. Doors you interact with no longer alert enemies. No, okay, is that something that was down here? Uh, no, okay. 
Well, for some reason, I was of the mistaken belief that companions don't set off uh, enemies. Situation. I might just uh, light them up. Oh, I probably can't go that way. Ah, it's very bright in here. Why? Someone was shooting up in there. That's not great. Why is it so fucking bright in here? Here's where all the fucking powers go, and that's why you've got to low profit problem, you're wasting fucking terawatts of power leaving this shit all switched on. Like a, a mini map of the area that tells me how fucking far away from the target I am. Okay, we can go up again, that's not what we're on. We might be able to go up and over, we'll see. We'll see if it's fine though. <laughs> Can't comprehend any of the theorists in the first place. Uh, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky. Making it, we're getting there. We'll get there slowly, everyone. Right here, these fucking uh, just blasted cleaning bots. Space at upside star. That's like the twelfth one of them that I found. Okay, maybe not the twelfth, but probably the third. One of that exact bloody thing that I've got. Where is this? This is... hang on. Which mission am I on? Absolute power. So, no, don't need to worry about that. But there's a side room and there might be stuff in it. That's fine. 
That's fine. Just gotta avoid the little urban bot. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a shame we can't do like a perfect dark and exploit the uh, cleaning drones to get to where we need to go. Conduction grid lower level! Hooray! Uh, are we nearly there? Are we there yet? Prop save. Obtain conduction grid data. Right. Do I have a choice about releasing the virus? Because I don't want to do that. Chunk's cake. Excuse me. Hard times, yep, that they are. An unfortunate situation. Technician Shibata, currently posted to Genedi's R&D laboratory. Hmm. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Beiyu. Though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified and incompetent. I feel that they are underestimating him. Okay. I've spoken to Brayson at length, and I find him actually to be hmm. a kind and endearing person. Mm -hmm. I think that living in the shadow of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayou, has given him a bad name. And that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment and asked to do the impossible. Right. It's an unfortunate situation, but I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive. Mm-hmm. I see. So, he seduced her. <laughs> Is what I'm reading from that. Core computer. Conduction grid description. The conduction grid is an electromagnetic absorption system utilizing the shroud suspended above Neon as a lightning conduction array. When a lightning discharge is created between the array and the troposphere, the energy is dispersed evenly across the system's receptors. Excuse me a second. Sorry. Uh, it is then transported via conductive conduits into our processing facility where it passes through a series of polyphasic capacitors and rectifiers. This ensures that the incoming energy is equalized from its original positive and negative state. Once the energy is cleaned, it gets stored in the power storage cells located in the power core of the facility. Cool. Current power core status. Max cap, max cap, max cap. Uh, yellow, orange, active. Okay, cool. Download construction plans. Warning. Conduction plans are highly classified as a safety precaution. They're encoded with 512-bit holomatrix encryption. If decryption is required, please return the cipher from Chief Technician Breath Spire in R section. Cool. Guess I need the decryption key. Onwards we go. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. I have a feeling I'm gonna probably run into you and uh, not have a chance to sneak past him. Oh, 
shit, tons of us traffic coolant. Fell off picking it up. Okay. There be uh, a nasty robot in there. That was dropped another save. Oh dear. Nope. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's a load. Oh no. <laughs> let's not let's not do that. Um, okay. So what happened there? The robot must have been looking at me. Why was the robot looking at me? How? I'm invisible. Fuck you. Weird. I'm hoping that Barrett hasn't caused this to. Oh, bloody hell. I'm hoping Barrett hasn't caused problems by when he was here. Okay, guess we're not going the direct route. I just needed to find another vent. Another conveniently person sized vent. With all of the lighting on at all times, at maximum. <laughs> okay. I'm going to need to clear out loads of saves after this. Why? I've probably gone the wrong way. Oh shit. Spiritual guide for after the world's end. Even why nature desire to know, this is the maximum of the philosopher, the start of our most ancient discourse, and the continuing truth that unites humanity's current disappoor to its cradle around the yellow sun. The death of Earth may be a cause for wistful reflection. At time, as the centre of humanity recedes further into the past, living generations find it so removed from their existence as to amount to nothing more than historical trivia. Our technology and culture advance uh, to forms that be scarcely recognisable as human to even our recent forebears, and yet we still identify as part of the same lineage that first time fires and notice that certain parts of the lesser heavenly light seem to move in patterns. It's taming and noticing the vital combination of act and reflection is what separates us from all other beings we've yet encountered. This is a foregone essence of humankind, all people desire to know. Interesting. Okay. I just want to have a quick look at that. Um, but yeah, we're not here for uh, we're not here for philosophy. We're here for opening shit and stealing things and breaking shit. Uh, right. Genuine messages. Your last 
Batch progress reports were very disappointing. Miss Deshmuk, three years, no results. That's no excuse for that, including trying to blame your failures on Chief Technician Bo. According to your file, you came to Gender Dine with the highest recommendations, but apparently we were misinformed. If I don't see an uptick in successful results soon, I'll start searching for a replacement supervisor. Bloody hell. Don't worry, it's all clear. Okay. Sorry to report another failure with experiment uh, GDY072, although I'm confident we could adapt the conduction grid to be used as an EM type shield for spacecraft. I'm afraid our limitations are making the task impossible. I'm sorry I let you and Genodyne down. If you wish, I'll submit my resignation first thing in the morning. Interesting. Just checking in to remind you that the entire laboratory facility is completely cleared of all personnel for Mr. Harada's impending visit on Saturday. As you know, Mr. Harada is a bit of a germaphobe, and I've given him every assurance that he won't encounter employees during his tour. Fair warning, anyone th at all that we encounter that day will be instantly terminated. Fucking you know. Uh, see, sir, I don't know how much more of these corporate shenanigans I can stand. I've been yelled out twice by Yumi this week for trying to go over her head, and I'm worried that my job is in jeopardy. I know we both share the same concerns, so I hope you'll be able to meet me at Euphorica for a drink this evening. We have a lot to discuss. Uh -huh. Current power core status. Yeah, okay. That doesn't really help. I'm looking for the... Yeah, okay. So I didn't need to come in here at all. Maybe. Ooh, safe. Mm-hmm. Cool, nice and easy. And then, and then, and then, and then, that one. Bonk! Hmm. Sure, yoink. Yoink all of it. Is there anything over here? What is this? Vodka drink pack. Fancy wine. Fancy wine. No, no, no longer there. No longer there. All gone. All mine. All mine to sell. Right, okay. So, that's not where we want to be. We want to be up there. Now, I'm wondering where this goes. Spooking chuck, what the fuck? I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. Just about to text me. Okay, it's just one of them. area. And cipher from Prince and Bay. Is that Prince and Bay? That is some guy. That is Prince and Bay. Okay. So I don't believe we've been detected at all. I, I can't pickpocket because I don't have the skill. Shit. Sneakily access his computer while he's right there. Decryption routine. Encryption, encrypted data recognized. Warning encryption cipher required. Please obtain a cipher module from Chief Technician. Okay. Load subsystem data input. Oh shit. According to last month's budget reports, you've spent over 10,000 credits and have nothing to show for the review. This has to stop. For the, f uh, for the last few years you've been promising some kind of breakthrough, yet you have absolutely nothing to show for your supposed efforts. I've spoken to Mr. Harada and we're both very disappointed, but we're going to give you another chance. We need you to bring us something tangible. Very soon, we've had to pull storage cell 4 offline again today for a full diagnostic. According to our figures, it's reporting over 93% efficiency rating, which indicates that it's slowly but surely in the process of degradation. We must get the budget to fix these aging power cells, or in a few years' time we could be looking at a total large shutdown. 
Oh, your request here are the status of the currently active experiments. Uh, total meltdown of all components, ongoing, recommend replacement of windmill blades due to lightning damage. All test subjects deceased, order new subjects placed, oh dear, failed. Hydrothermic coils overheating, suggest total redesign. Failed, project cancelled due to projected costs and lack of personnel. Uh, active, setup complete, request more time to adapt the plants to salt water. Active, setup ongoing, should be completed within the month. The emergency exit from your office has been completed as per your specifications. The lift should bring you directly to the surface and can be accessed using a standard elevator cool system. The cost has been deducted from your personal account as requested. Please let me know if you have any issues with the product. Yep, so that's the... Um... Okay, so we can't get the Cypher office computer because it's a Cypher module. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I could just kill him. He is a problem. I also think he might be asleep. You asleep, buddy? Or are you just really dumb? Or am I a really good sneaky person? I'm gonna take them. Now, I'm not gonna upload the... I'm not gonna upload the virus. advanced maelstrom yay keep giving me maelstroms we're totally at the level where they're worth having even at a legendary level thanks game you shouldn't have no really you shouldn't have right I don't know what to do here I could just talk to him or I could just Gun him down. Hello. Oh, it's you. Uh, I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. Wait, what? If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. Okay. How did you know I was here for the encryption cipher? Uh, when you access the computer and the power core, it sent a notification to be here. Ah. I knew you were coming, I, I just didn't know when. Got it, right. There has to be a catch. No, no catch. I, I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It, it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Oh, that's interesting. Um, who's your brother? There's something between you and your brother is my problem. I'm sure you have a good reason to I agree. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. Okay. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Okay. How do you know he talks about you behind his back? One advantage to being perceived as stupid is that no one takes you seriously. Very true. When I walk into a party, I'm instantly the resident social pariah. But my eyes and ears are wide open. Mm. I can't tell you the number of times I've overheard that my brother has spread amusing anecdotes about his stupid brother. You should expose Benjamin Bay for everything shady he's done. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. The man's virtually immortal. You know what? 
I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. All right. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. All right, cool. Um, how rough are things down here for you, Genadai? How did you end up working at Genadai? As usual, you can thank my dear brother for that. At first, he made me deputy administrator. That went well, until I wouldn't cooperate with Owen Dexler and all of his thugs at Neon Security. Then, he had me work with <laughs> Valentina over at Xenofresh, helping with Aurora distribution. Until she pinned the credit skidding scam on me. Oh no. And now, here I am. Chief Technician at Genardine. I don't even know the first thing about electrical engineering. How rough are you, uh, things to, uh, bleh. How rough are things down here at Genardine for you? That'll do. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, I'm at about, I don't know, a negative 8. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have the background for this electrical engineering stuff. Chief technician? It's, it's ridiculous. Ben stuck me down here, expecting me to work miracles. He didn't stop for even a second to think of the repercussions. That's so typical. Mm. All I need is one breakthrough. One! And I could shove this job right in his face. Damn, that would feel good. Hmm, I'm fairly sure the conduction grid can be adapted into anti-EM weapon technology. Holy crap. You might be right. I mean, it would take some time, but, but I bet I could figure it out. Huh. All this time I've been trying to develop something new and it's been staring me in the face for years. Oh man, that is so like me. It's alright. Thank you for giving me that kick in the ass I needed to get going. Oh, no worries, man. Um, so, why are you and Benjamin at uh, such odds? You've just told me, but still. Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch, that's why. <laughs> Fair. It's not like I should be surprised. When we were younger, we, we never got along very well. I mean, he's 11 years older than I am. We had two different mothers. Yeah. Might as well have been from two separate families. Oof. That must have been tough. Well, that's an understatement. Hmm. I never knew my actual mother. Uh. She was my father's mistress. And I was told she vanished from Neon when I was only two years old. Ben's mother, mm. she didn't give a crap about me. Wouldn't even let me call her mom. I just had to call her Liliana. Aww. Can you imagine? And then there's dad. So buried in the day-to-day -day operations of Neon, he didn't have time to pay attention to his bastard son. Shit, dude. I'm really sorry. Uh, if you ever sought out your birth mother? Yeah, I've, I've tried. But I always hit a dead end. It's as though she was here one day and suddenly vanished the next. And then her existence was erased from everyone's memory. Mm. I wouldn't be at all surprised if my father had her killed to avoid mm. public embarrassment. That's the kind of man he was. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, everyone's sorry. Just as sorry as I am. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do. And and it's nice to get this off my chest, but talking about it isn't going to change a thing. Hmm. That's why I gave you the encryption cipher. Anything I can do to stick it to Ben, that's the real therapy. Excellent. I'm well, glad I can help. Thanks again for the talk. It really helped. No worries, Dick. All right. So, decryption routine. Now applying 512-bit holo matrix decryption scheme to data. Decryption complete. Now, do I have to upload it? I don't want to. Fine. There you go. Complete data packets have been transferred to the general mainframe. Please allow approximately 13 to 20 seconds for the data to integrate the system. Oh, I didn't want to do that bit. No, oh, well. Be 
Where's Rimbo's penthouse? Do we need to go there for any reason? I don't think so. Euphorica. Genodyne's office trade tower, no. Yeah, no, we don't. I don't think we need to go there. Let's just go. Let's just leave. I genuinely feel sad for that guy now. Return to the cell. Give me more XP. Need more XP, give me more XP. Need all of that XP. Ow, pop. Yeah, I've got mods that allow me to change legendary effects on things, but there's no... I can't make a non-legendary thing have a legendary effect, it doesn't work that way. So, annoyingly... Pick up a load of food, didn't I? Yeah. Wine and other random things. Now, at least we're helping him get back at his brother. It's just a shame I had to put the virus in. That one in, that was dumb. Sex P bonus. And now we can go back. Oh, oh, it's possible the console command from basic to legendary. Ah, hmm. That's very tempting. I've tried not to be too cheaty. I mean, being able to change legendaries should have been in the base game of Fallout 4, so it should definitely be in the base game of uh, Starfield. So, yeah, uh, it's. I will consider that if it's possible just to make a something into a legendary. Oh, yeah. I hope no one's got sensitive eyes. I forgot how bonkers this is. Two sensitive ears. Hmm. Who right. yeah, the hell are we talking to? Yeah. Hello. Ah. Ah, there you are. Hi. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. Yeah. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. Mm -hmm. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne's systems. I didn't want to install that, I'm sorry. If you're expecting me, I have no clue what you're talking about. If you know I'm here, then you know what's at stake. Um, I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. Please, don't insult my intelligence. 
<laughs> you know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. I didn't want to do that. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Good. Cutting the deal with the fleet will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. If you know from the Crimson Fleet, then you know we mean business. I'll remove it for half that amount. <laughs> Why do you care if Crimson Fleet steals Jedi secrets? Because, like the majority of revenue generating businesses in the city, I have a vested interest in Jenardine's profits. But more importantly than simply losing money, I don't like anything in my city being interfered with without my approval. I would really like to be recording this conversation on my uh, Totally Not Pit Boy so I could play this back to incriminate you later. Um, casting a deal with the fleet will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? Leverage. It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. Bah. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. Okay. Your methods are no different than ours. Your arrogance is astounding. That's why you shouldn't interfere. Your arrogance is astounding. That's what they tell me. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. Okay. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Here's an idea. Everyone in this city fucking hates you. What will happen to them? You don't have to worry about that in the least. Hmm. You point me to our little mole and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna throw a stow under the bus because fuck her. One of your own, I believe. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately for Miss Vincent, she won't be joining us for the rest of her life. So. I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Absolutely. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. Yeah. Now <sighs> oh well. I screwed over another pirate. That's fine. <laughs> I kind of wanted to shoot him. I really wanted to shoot him. He is a goddamn son of a bitch. Damn it, Todd. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm trying not to. Uh, let's just leave. The one that yeah. It's because they have little outposts everywhere. So many facilities abandoned after the Cold War. The pirates mm. used them as forward operators. Right, did we have shit to sell that we found? Yes. Is there anywhere that we can sell shit here that actually has like weapons and ammunition that we want? No. Cool. Um. Yeah, let's just get out of here. So, what we'll do is we will quickly finish this up. Thunk. Green lights on. Uh, yeah, we'll quickly finish this up. We're docked. I'll re recruit Barrett later. Hello. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. What the fuck? Someone overcooked potato in the microwave? Where's everyone? They want to hear what happened in the end. Hooray! 
You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, Pat on the head. <laughs> Are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. Oh, I love it. Hope it isn't bad. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Okay. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the pay and the level up. Apparently I'm... Yeah. Badness is happening. Alright, there was a skill I needed to take. There was a skill I needed to take. What was it? I max that out, I max that out, I also max that out. Um trouble is I need that, but I need to spend three more points in this in this bloody um tree, but this bloody tree is terrible. I'd rather have I still haven't done that yet, which is irritating. without aiming with ranged weapons, which is a bit shit. Uh, jump further... Reduced resource cost, not really that useful, spacey design. Ooh. I need to do more spacey modifications so I can do spacey modification. Oh yeah, and then there's that, which would be handy. That's not useful. That's not really useful. That. Um. Hmm. Slash of engineering. Systems repair. Twenty-five percent damage. Uh, just damage uh, mitigation. Or repair faster. Um. See, that's the level that breaks, and I don't know if that's been patched yet. And I can't find anything about it being patched. Skill maxed out. Don't need to max it out. Uh, I need to. Right, I need to destroy more ships in targeting mode. I need to do more spacesuit upgrades. I need to reload more empty magazines. Uh, leadership. I can't even get these yet. Can I? Yeah, ship command. Ship command is something that I need, and I can't get it. Um, where's the one where you have friendly companions? Leadership. Spend three more points. For fuck's sake. Why? Deception. Um, diplomacy. That doesn't help. Negotiation. Bribery and speech challenges. Theft. Extra credits. Not really that useful. Damn, I see skill maxed out. Shit. I can't do anything because these fucking limitations. Um, yeah, I think we'll hold on to that skill point. I think we'll hold on to the skill point. Then what we will do? I heard Isla's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side. You know, chuck shit in my way. Right, we're gonna save. Because unfortunately we have run out of time. So I'm going to have to call it a day. But uh, I think that went pretty well. We uh, got through without killing anyone. No thanks to Barrett. Bloody idiot. Um, <laughs> aside from that, we got through all of Genodyne without any issue. And uh, we rescued a whole load of people. And UC and 
Federated uh, Note Free Star Collective, um, and a load of civilian scientists. So that I, th I think we've done pretty well today. We've done quite a lot. Um, we got a good amount of loot, 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 loop, loop. Good amount of loop. A good amount of loot is what I meant to say, which we've definitely uh, uh, been taking advantage of. Uh, but there's still more to do, and there's still more evidence to gather against the Crimson Fleet. And I think this mission that we're now starting might be the last in the quest line. Uh, so we shall see where that takes us. Uh, thank you very much for being here, uh, Maps and No, and thank you for your assistance finding that um, data pad. That was not where the guide I had said it was, which is not very helpful. Uh, but yeah, thank you for that. And thank you all for being here. I hope you have all enjoyed watching, and I hope everyone watching in the future has enjoyed as well. I appreciate all of you. I've had fun. Um, so yeah, I don't have any plans to stream tomorrow, but then again, I don't have any plans for tomorrow. Uh, currently, so I may stream something probably in the afternoon if I do. I don't know what though. Uh, otherwise, on Sunday at 1000 hours, we'll either be streaming some MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries multiplayer or we'll be playing some uh, MechWarrior Online and then at 1200 hours we'll swap over to playing. Uh, HVS Battletech with the Hiades Rim mod, so hopefully you see you there. Oh, oh and uh, 1800 on Sunday I'll be playing some more Warhammer 40k Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, uh, continuing the Imperial campaign, so hopefully catch you at one of those. Until then, let me see if I can spell, that would help. You've been watching ah, Gaming, my name is Bill, I'm the angry autistic asshole. Like, comment, subscribe, run around screaming, ah, turning notifications on, otherwise I'm just screaming at myself in the dark, and it's kind of boring. It's much more fun with loads of people in the dark screaming, so get on in here and get screaming. I have a Patreon and PayPal, if you wish to donate to this mess that'd be appreciated, and I have a Discord server and Facebook page where I announce what I'm going to be streaming and when, so be sure to keep an eye on them. And until next time, let's find ourselves someone to raid. Let's see who's about and who's doing what. Who's doing what? Oh, excellent, Sweet Tiger's playing Starfield, so we shall raid Sweet Tiger, who is a very lovely lady. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's raid Sweet Tiger, playing Starfield. I think she's on New Game Plus at least one, so... Raid in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, bye bye.